Hi there, sinners. Today, we're going to do a reading, checking up on your bad bitch energy. <laughs> we're going to do a little forecast on your energy and see the spice in your sauce. So I've been wanting to have some uplifting type of readings and not about other people's dramas or tea. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but today I feel like doing something uplifting, inspiring, and motivating. I'm currently listening to music by Tadra Hall, and Queen reminded me how much self-love we need. So I'm going to have you guys choose between two piles today. I just took out the she believes she could so she did deck and i'm going to shuffle cards until two cards fly out and those will be the cards for today's piles okay pile one please card for pile one okay two cards fly out so pile one is you simply have to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. George Lucas. Three cards flew out. Okay. I guess they went three readings today. Okay. Pile one. Pile two, you got action is the foundational key to all success by Pablo Picasso. Pile three is everything that we do and everyone that we meet is put in our path for a purpose by Marla Gibbs. Okay. Oh my god, I love this new album. The, the album is Work Out. I'm currently listening to You Got This. Okay. I feel so good right now. Okay. So, take your time to choose your pile. Pile one, two, or three. And I'll see you at your reading. You can see the timestamps in the captions description box down below. This just in reporting. I was told that this is not a pick a card, but actually a collective message. So I'm just going to shuffle live. Hi, pal one. Uh, we're going to just shuffle live. Whatever cards fly out is the message. So let's check up on your bad bitch energy forecast, shall we? I'm going to ask our spirit guides and ancestors for the update. I'm using emojis playing cards. Let's see. Okay, pile one, bad bitch energy forecast check up. What are the cards? That's a lot of cards. Okay, that's enough cards. <laughs> Girl, why? <laughs> okay, but I'm here is from morning sickness though. So congratulations to those of you who are um, with child, uh, preparing, expecting child, bun in the oven. We have, oh, look at this, 10 of diamonds. We got six of spades, you've been a cool cat. Oh my God, look at this, king of spades. Okay, part one, you simply have to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. You have overcome some of the hardest stuff over the past three years during pandemic and the Spirit Guides wants to praise you to 
that you kept going, that you kept persevering, you didn't give up on whatever it was regarding if it was business, your personal endeavors, even your own mental health. And and I see like not giving up on yourself when other people around you were for whatever reason. And because of that, you persevered. I think it has to do with finance and work. And you find yourself in a position where you, you woke up one morning and you, you have some morning sickness. But you're coming into money or you already have been saving up for money because you've been expecting this. And there's going to be an additional member in the family. So congratulations, pile one. For those of you who aren't having a bun in the oven, let's see why. I think you're getting sick, nauseous from nervousness. You're so nervous, you can like, you can vomit. And the advice for you, oh, advice, okay. The advice for you is to utilize your resources. You know, keep calm and optimistic about your situation. Okay, and you know you have the fundings, you have the backings, and you know where you can get situations where you can get the money to do what you have to do. You already have everything you need to do. To All you need to do is start by overthinking it, power one. That's exactly what it is. So you need some of that bad bitch energy your way. I'm going to pull whispers of love and let's see what affirmations the spirit guys have for you to inspire you to keep going. Because you have everything you need to create, to give birth to your creations. So what, are, what is the encouragement from your spirit guys for power one? Why are so many cards flying up? It says, I love you. These are very important words. Oh, your spirit guides love you. Second card, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. That speaks for itself, right? Like, analyze your behavior and your patterns. Is there something that's keeping you stuck? And you have to be able to see what you have to change about it. Next one, union of hearts is the connection of love that defies explanation. This is for those who are having a bun in the oven. And for those of you who are not having a bun in the oven, I feel like this is you coming into union with yourself and your inner artist. If you're holding yourself back from creating or maybe, yeah, inner artist, you don't have to be a painter or whatever. You could be a singer or a writer or maybe you're a dancer or a DJ. You're like a person who does some form of expression express yeah so you're coming into you're stepping into yourself honesty is essential to be a loving person it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner honesty towards yourself and for those of you who are in a relationship you have an honest partner you guys have a reciprocal connection that's why things have been things have been so good yeah even for power for those of you who are just hesitating to take a move it's okay like it's all good like the guys are just waiting for you to like get your fun started and to do what speaks to you most and i think you're gonna do it i feel like it could be excitement that's causing you to be nervous too that like you've just recently been sponsored or like funded to do something or you came into a lot of money and you're finally able to chase your dreams you got this, okay? If you're not procrastinating, that means you're just worried. You got this. You got this, girl. Okay, that was awesome. Is there any other messages left for pile one? Okay. I did pull an Angelarium Oracle card, so I want to see if there's any messages here for pile one. Bad bitches! For any wisdom or... Come on, just one. Okay. Tiferet, heart and beauty. Pile one is very love oriented. Mm, yeah. Stepping into the love of your creativity or stepping into expanding your the love that exists in your family life 
by allowing a new form of life to enter. Yeah, you're really pile one. You guys are really expanding your heart energy. Oh my gosh, I just realized this. There's a hand inside. Oh, there's a hand reaching on top. I never noticed this about the card. I gotta show you guys again. Look. There's a hand, just two hands reaching out for the little ball inside his heart. And there's a hand on his head. You are loved and you are protected. You are surrounded by people who are embracing you and hold you at all times. Even you don't think you got it, someone else got it for you. They catch it for you. Yeah, there's a hand over your shoulder. There's a hand on your head. There's a hand like in your heart. You're holding your own hands and then there's other hands around you. You are guided, literally. Wow. And you came from such a hardship. Like I said, look at the destruction behind you. You formed yourself out of that destruction. That pressure turned you into diamonds. You guys got turned into that. That makes sense. Ten of diamonds. <laughs> Happiness. You transmuted all the hardship into knowledge and wisdom and you made it work for you guys. Wow, congratulations, Pal One. That is amazing. This is wonderful energy. I certainly hope this was a really nice confirmation for you uh, for what's been happening in your life. That's awesome. Okay, on to pile number two. All right. Pile. Okay, for pile number two, we got action is the foundational key to all success, Pablo Picasso. I swear, I feel like you guys are coming from pile one. <laughs> I'm starting to feel that way now. It's okay, you guys are really gonna watch the whole thing. You let, yep, that resonates with me. That also resonates with me. I mean, it's not like you can't, right? All right, let's see what cards wanna come out for pile two for the Fantasy focus. Pile two, what is your energy forecast? What are the awesome news happening in your life? I hope I didn't ruin any surprises for pile one. It's like, surprise, you're pregnant. And then they're like, I'm not even pregnant yet. And then like, you know, like three days later, I'm pregnant. <laughs> okay. Pile two's, pile two's. Damn, you got a king of clubs. Wow. <laughs> Look at you guys. Even you guys are winning the jackpot. I'm not familiar with what clubs represent in cards. Wands, maybe? Pile two. No, there's no way this is following me. <laughs> you too? Okay, spill the tea, pile two, what's going on? Energy forecast update, come on. Again, six of spades. You guys are coming from pile one again. Okay, any more? That's different. Hmm. It's too coincidental that all these piles are together. Two of clubs. Okay. I think I might have misunderstood the reading from what my guides, I'm feeling from my guides. I don't think it's three piles that you're picking from guys. I think it's one collective message. So I'm gonna go and correct that and say that this is a general collective message for PSA to all bad bitches out there with their energy forecast. That's why the cards are coming out similar. Okay, I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna pivot. So let's go to this other card that's supposed to be pile three. Everything that we do and everyone that we meet is put in our path for a purpose. Okay. So you simply have to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. Action is the foundation key to all success. Everything that, that we do and everyone that we meet is put in our path for a purpose. Okay. So let's look at a bit more. I swear this poop card is so creepy looking. 
like why does it look like this tell me guys why does it look like this okay Bad bitch energy forecast message. Ten of clubs. Okay, so clearly a lot of good vibes. We're gonna find out what the poop is though. I literally just heard shit smells. Well, no, but duh. <laughs> okay, let's see what the message is. The messages. We'll be right back. Collective message update. You got Ramiel, Angel of Visions, and Remph, Angel of Time. Give me channel now. Angel of Visions, Angel of Time. I see crescents on both images. Angel of Visions, Rump, Angel of Time. How does that translate to bad bitch energy forecast? Let's see. Okay, this Angel of Visions here, for the way they're holding the staff, I thought it was a bow at first. Like a bow and arrow. Um, so I got up and I saw Joker, hearts of Joker of Hearts, and then Eight of Diamonds. So you guys, <laughs> the fact that I'm using Angelarium like Starseed cards. Well, I don't know if they're called Starseed cards, but I feel like they connect with Celestials. So the fact that aliens showed up, you guys have my, you guys are my fam. You guys are my fam. Yeah. So it looks like a bow. You have been having your sights on something higher. With the moon the crescent and the triangles pointing downwards it's the alchem a chemical symbol of um water and emotion and feminine energy you've been in a very creative place whether you're creating a child creating a human being or you're being creative as in the sense you're tapping into your inner artist i'm listening to tundra call um the song is called both and i feel like you guys, I keep going back to piles, but it's not. It's just a collective message. You guys have both been being creative physically. Maybe you guys have been getting it on. Ooh, the birds love bees. Is the reproduction energy coming around or something? Um, but you're also being creative at the same time. Oh no, I'm running batteries. Maybe I'm not supposed to get this message out. <laughs> um, You guys have been focusing your visions and making most of the time you have. You've been, you've been planning strategically when to make your move. And when third time's the charm, I ran out of batteries. Yeah, you guys have been making your moves count. That's pretty good. You don't move all the time. When you do, you make it count. It's making me think of the story of the mouse that was like running around, the cat was chasing it all the time, running around, catching it. And like one day, like somebody got a, a cat that was just really quiet and still and it didn't even bother chasing the, the mouse at all. And so the mouse wasn't intimidated by it at all. And it just got used to the cat and would always come outside and hang around the cat. And one day the mouse got a little bit too careless 
got a little too close within the cat's reach and one swipe, the cat killed it. But <laughs> that's exactly how you guys are like, uh, how you guys have been for your energy forecast. That's amazing. I mean, other stuff could have been happening in your life that isn't exactly the most optimistic and uplifting and like happy. But when it does count, like the areas in your life where it does count, you make it count and you make it work. And that is something that is really awesome to be focusing in on and hope honing in on and not losing sight about. That is amazing. Oh, I wish you guys can feel this energy. I hope you guys can feel it conveyed through the screen. Can we send this energy? It feels really good. Can you feel it? Okay. Any remaining messages for bad bitch? Forecast. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing anybody who's ever mistreated you is going to regret they ever did because I'm hearing this point in time that you're listening to this video right now you're stepping into your main character era and you're stepping into the highest version of yourself and you're shining and you're breaking through a lot of obstacles breaking through a lot of obstacles a lot of limitations with the illusions of other people that have been holding you back yeah you're stepping into innocence that is amazing you're going back to beginning of how you were before everyone put their bullshit on you you're feeling fresh you're feeling like a clean slate thunderbolt yeah everyone is so upset that you're doing that like they can't believe you have the tenacity you have the audacity and the tenacity to just let like you're letting them drop like flies you're cutting them off left right and center and when people like are speaking to you as if they're expecting you to demand like an apology you know how like certain people when they talk with you just the things they're saying makes you feel like maybe you should be apologizing for inconveniencing them but in in fact there's nothing to apologize for if anything they should be thanking you for even like talking with them about it or inviting you to some place or like including them into something or even sharing with them about something or even holding space to hear them out. That is something you're acknowledging, you're recognizing and you are, you don't say unnecessary things where it's not expected because these people, they're asleep. They're expecting people to say certain things because it's just a routine. It's like the tango and the dance you do because you're used to acting this way and it's subconscious and you're awake. You people in my audience are awake and you know better. You're like, oh, this person is speaking like this. The, usually the next sentence that comes after a comment like this would be this. But because you do that, you do a sidestep. You sidestep and you're like, uh-uh. No, that's amazing. You sidestep it. You don't let anybody, you don't let anybody hold you back. Yes, this is what we need sharing you learn to share share with what you have what you're willing to without being in a place of resentment and you know that you're always going to be abundant yes the candle here i can i'm going to divinate this candle's message whatever you're fulfilling and you're wishing for is going to come true and it's going to come true in a way that is going to be shocking and surprising to you in a way that you don't expect and much faster than you expect too but there's a little word of word of warning there's a wall on the side of the candle that hasn't melted away fully and that means there's some sort of things that you're still holding onto the past that is actually preventing you from moving into the future of receiving these things you've been asking for okay so your manifestations and your wishes and your 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 spells that you have been casting for those of you who are practitioners of magic it's coming true whatever it is you've been aspiring and desiring for but the thing is we have to be ready for it to come in because when it once it comes in you have to be ready to let go of things that were holding you in the past like limiting beliefs or fears or traumas that were preventing you from moving forward you have to let those go so that the new things that are coming in that you have wished for and that you have manifested for will stay
Anything else? Sorrow. I don't know why I'm hearing the song. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll love you tomorrow. So I know, I know why. Cause this person crying ain't, ain't you. It's the people that you've left out. <laughs> it's the people that you left out who have been siphoning off your energies. Oh my goodness. And I don't know why this person, their eyes, they have no eyes. I never noticed that. And their eyes to me look like lips. You see it? I hope it focuses. Look, it looks like open lips because these people never took the time. These people never took the time to hear you out because they were busy talking and yapping their face off. That's why even their eyes, they don't even have eyes for you to see you for who you are because they're too busy speaking and projecting onto you who they believe you should be. That's why they're out over there. And that's why you're telling them, I'll love you tomorrow. I'll love you tomorrow, next time, later, because your motto is resonating a lot. This reading is clicking with me personally as well. Your motto, this, from here moving forward, I want to say this year, but whenever you watch this, it's me, 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 and then some. That's your motto. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Okay. Final cards. Completion. Transformation. This is so beautiful. Look. You know what that means? Completion. You're completing yourself. You're completing yourself. You don't need anybody else. You realize that the missing piece was in your hand the whole damn time. You just didn't realize. And that piece, you just had to make it. You had to make your own piece. Because look at the shape of this puzzle. It's irregular. It's not like a traditional puzzle shape. Right? And all of these puzzle comprise are also the same. They're different. Only you, the whole time you never realized you were, you were completing yourself. You were stepping into your own truth and you were acknowledging different fragments of who you are that were shattered and separated from who you were growing up. And you, you've been collecting them back piece by piece to put together the whole of who you truly are, your true identity, which is why there's a return to innocence. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh man, I, I, it's hitting me in the meow meow. Yeah, like you, you realize that all along and this missing piece here, you realize it's not just one missing piece. You've been collecting missing pieces of yourself and you're becoming more and more whole into completion. And what does that mean? What does that mean for your forecast? It means you're stepping into transformation. You are ascending. You are ascending. You're discovering new talents, new abilities. There's a phoenix on the top of this person's head. They're being reborn. Yeah, they're being reborn and they're removing the chains of and old wisdoms that no longer belong to them. Wisdom that might be out of date. Okay, I don't know when I stop filming, I gotta tell you. When you talk, you speak from a place of divine. Divine speaks through you. Your higher divine speaks through you. And that's why with such grace, you're able to cut away things that don't serve you, transmute things that hurt you. Oh my God, I'm rapping now. <laughs> and find the darkness, find the light in the darkness and find the darkness in the light and see that everything is balanced. Everything is balanced. Everything is equal. Anytime someone tries to topple you over by like telling you something, they'll throw you off kilter. You'll find the truth within that reason to put yourself back into place. Does that make sense? So if someone gives you a backhanded compliment you can be triggered by it and you'd be hurt by the fact that they try to embarrass you like that. But if you see through the truth that you realize this person trying to throw you off kilter, you realize that they are triggered. That's why they're trying to trigger you. That'll throw you immediately back to stable ground and you're able to see through their tricks. So that is all for your PSA for bad bitch energy forecast. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to watch more videos of mine up here. And if you want a personalized reading, there's a link below www.vergasin.com. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.